principal's message and uh, today we're joined by some wonderful year 12s who of course are heading towards exams and finishing their time at Billnook. Uh, introduce Josh and Daniel, Emily, Molly, Yutong and Beth. And um, look, it's been a pretty busy week, hasn't it? And exams are coming up really soon. And I know that you've been thinking a lot about finishing school, but also the journey through school, which for some of you, like Beth, has been 13 years. And for others, it's been a lot shorter, hasn't it? And, um, but I thought it'd be really interesting to ask you, what's your earliest memory of Billinook? Beth, why don't we start with you? Because you were yeah. barely five years old yep, I was when you started in prep. For my little pigtails. Um, I think I remember the night before my first day of prep, I couldn't sleep. I was so excited in my little bed. Or <laughs> yep. And then I got there and it was all that it cracked up to be. And like the first thing we did was the alphabet, so we had these little cards and um, my teacher, Miss Evans, we had, um, yeah, each card had a letter of the alphabet and then an animal or an object that also started with that letter. And then we had a little song that um, would help us remember the, the letters and the noises they make and what starts with that letter. And I just, I, it just stuck with me. I remember Curly Cat and all that. Like. <laughs> it's funny uh, It's funny what you remember, isn't it? And uh, yeah. I mean, you, Tong and Emily, of course you started here much later than Beth did. Yeah. What, what's your first memory, you, Tong, of starting school here? Like for me, firstly, is the environment is green. Yeah, and yeah. And secondly, is like when I come here year nine in the old building just yeah. over there, and the, I step in the classroom to see Miss Young and the, Miss Joy. Yeah, That's yeah. to my first home with teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Emily, what, what do you remember, you know, as your first memory here? Um, you know, coming from Harbin, you know, where, where I've been too. Um, <laughs> Um, actually, also um, the beautiful environment. We like too many green plants. <laughs> yeah. was, that, was, that, was that really different for you? Yeah. Yeah, because it's you're... like a, I, I feel like I study in a forest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I think, you know, there's things that we take for granted here, don't we? We come to school in a beautiful environment every day and we think every school's like that, but. Um, Lots of schools are sort of concrete jungles, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Daniel, what, what do you remember as your first memory? Um, well, because I've only been here for a short time as well, I just remember the first time we were meeting kind of our whole year level and we're up in the Discovery and we had to like stand up and that, yep. was, like, that was terrifying. <laughs> and everyone had to do it. And we were just like standing up and like, you know, saying where we were from. Yeah, and that was... It, it's funny how we always do that when we introduce yeah. people, whether they're students or adults. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, don't, you don't understand how terrifying it is, do you? Uh, yeah, to yeah. be the one that's stood out the front and say, who are you? For like five seconds as well, but yeah. it's still yeah. <laughs> yeah. Josh and Molly, what, 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 what's your earliest memory? Uh, you go first. Um, Thank you. I remember coming in year seven, and I think it was the first day of classes, or maybe it was orientation day, and they gave everyone in the class a piece of string and they were like, somebody else in the class has the piece of string that is the same length as yours. Go and find that person. And so we're all rushing around with our little pieces of string going, is my work yours? And I turned around to my only friend that had travelled with me from primary school and I was like, please don't be your string the same way. And it wasn't the same way. Because I I think that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, you came with one other person from primary school. Josh, did you come with any other people that went to primary school with you? Um... Technically, yes, but he had left early yep, and I yep. didn't see much of him. So you really didn't know anyone? No, not really. And so what's your earliest memory? Uh, well, my earliest memory is probably first day of classes. I remember making friends with my friend Leo. Um, <laughs> and so we're, we're just talking, we're walking around. And meanwhile, um, someone that I had made friends with during orientation day, which I apparently didn't remember. <laughs> He's... So I'm walking, I'm walking around with Leo, and he's just kind of silently following <laughs> us, just just walking behind. And now he is like one of the like most like friendly people in the year level. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just but, find that funny. You know, you, you know, every year when we have the year sevens begin, you see these little kids with eyes as big as saucers. <laughs> and even even Beth coming from the primary school where. Yeah. You'd been here through it was primary school. Like equally as scary. Yeah, you know, it, it's not that different, really, yeah. is it? You know, there's all these different people, and for lots of year sevens, there's more year sevens here than were in their primary school. 
So everything's so much bigger, isn't yep. it? Um, what about, um, what's the thing that you remember most fondly? The thing that, you know, you look back and go, that was, so I know maths is one option that you might answer with. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the thing that you, you know, you'll always take away is, is the memory that you'll always remember from your time I think in school. something a little bit more recent, but I know that like a few of us could say the Class. exact same thing. Um, it's definitely the production that we did this year and yeah. um, doing such an amazing show in our last year after having done a few other shows in previous years it's really like going out with a bang and like you know we had some really really good was, was it sad to do the last production yeah yeah because yeah. 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 like, a lot of you I mean a lot of you well all of you you told me um you know it, it there's develops a really strong sense of family in there doesn't yeah. it and, um, yeah crazy and like the amount of work that we put in it's just like at the end it doesn't feel like oh you know we've done all this for just like four shows it just feels like we've like accomplished something amazing and like the beautiful outcome we've sold out and it's it's really it's really beautiful yeah i mean i think you know when you look back you look at all the things that you sometimes do outside the classroom don't you you know the trips you went on or the outdoor experiences or whatever they're the things that often are really in the front of your mind um what what will you remember most fondly, Emily? Talks of productions. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I feel like I joined the theatre group is it's the most happier thing I've yep. ever yep. had. It's it's feel like I joined a huge family. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I was about to say the exact same thing because I just remember <coughs> like <coughs> starting theatre in year eleven <coughs> and then we did the no, <coughs> ten. And then we did hoods <coughs> and that was like the biggest, like, kind of like, I know, yeah, it's like a completely different, like, yeah. micro kind of environment to, like, build yeah. a look, and it's just, yeah, it's amazing. I, I think it's interesting, you know, when we were looking at, you know, what, what language what might we use in our advertising, you know, you throw around all these these words, and you see them with lots of different schools, they say this, that, and the other, and, and someone said, what about belonging? Mm-hmm. And as soon as someone said that word, I just went, yep. Yeah. That's what it's about, isn't it? And, mm. and I think that we all really feel that we belong here, don't we? Yeah. Mm. You, Tom, what's your your most enduring memory? Enduring memory that we examine coffee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 You need to do a lot of prepare for the yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, if you think about the future. Where will you head next year? What are the sorts of things that you're thinking of doing next year? You'll stay in Australia, won't you? You'll study. Yeah. I think I will stay in Melbourne or go to Sydney. Hmm. Yeah, but if I stay in Melbourne, I hope I hope I can get in Melbourne Uni to study yeah. Bachelor of Fine Arts, yeah. like dancing or theatre. Yeah, because you had a dancing um, audition last weekend, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. You tell what do you think you'll do? I wish I can get the Bachelor of Science degree in the Melbourne Uni, but if not, <coughs> I can also prepare to go to the Sydney. Yeah. yeah. So you want to study and study yeah, science? Just major in science and uh, some mathematics things. Mm. Yeah. What about you other guys? Go, Josh. Uh, you go, Josh. <laughs> well, um, I know what I'm doing in terms of uni i've been accepted into the photography studies college which yep. i am dead set on that wow. and so yep. starting, i think mid february next year i'll begin a cert four and then see where it goes yep. from there yep. dan what are you thinking um i have currently just set up a bunch of interviews with melbourne polytechnic and melbourne uni as well so i've just got to kind of do them and Hope for the best, pretty much. Potentially in what area? Oh, uh, like theatre and acting yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, Beth? Um, I struggled a lot because I love science and I love design. Um, and then one day I had this like breakthrough moment, like, why can't I do both? They yeah. have yeah. double degrees. And then I looked into it and they don't offer any double degrees <laughs> with science and design. So that was a bit... Uh, um, but I think at the moment my top preference is a design and um, business double degree at Monash, which will allow mm. me to do design, but also keep some kind of thinky yep. stuff going yep. in the background. 
What are you thinking, Beth? I'm pretty much the same as Em. I'm, you know, I'm auditioning <coughs> for a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Musical Theatre at Melbourne. So yeah. it's a big audition, but hopefully yeah. it's something I really want to do. Yeah. So. And if you, you know, do you find that you're um, reminiscing a bit when, when it's coming to a close? I think I've sort of been putting it off a bit. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, no. like, you know, I've been Don't so focused on, yeah, on my is it, glasses. Is it, is it sad? Is it? Yeah. 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 I mean, I always, because me and, me and Morgan, one of my like, closest friends, we always go to the library and then it was like yesterday where we went to the library and we missed our stop. So we had to walk home and it was like eight o'clock at night and we we're just kind of like walking back. And you just kind of like think about it, it's <clears> like, you know, you're so like in your own little world here and then you think about it and like all your friends just like couldn't be there and I guess there's some sort yeah. of fear there but there's also kind of like yeah. you have to accept that everyone's ready to just bloom, yeah. if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It's like we see each other every day at school. Yeah. Like we're, nearly, we're forced to see each other. <laughs> but then like next year we're going to have to make an effort to reach out yeah. to each other and it's like other people will be so busy but like, you know, it's yeah. like it won't be like see you on Monday sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. And, I, you know, I think that that's sort of part of the journey too, isn't it, is, mm. you know, loving something while you're there, but also being equipped with the skills to go somewhere different too. Yeah. If, you, um, if you think about, you know, and these are really big questions, aren't they, um, what do you think are the really important things that you've learnt here not about maths and not about theatre, but <laughs> but about yourself and about the world. You know those, those really big questions. You know what are the what are the things that you think have been important to you that you've learnt? I think it's everyone always says it's important to listen to yourself and what you want to do, and that is really important. But I think something else is to every once in a while let somebody else come in and give you a little bit of guidance, like. Um, I think it's really important, like I've been doing vocal lessons for a long time and I think it's it's really important to let that, let you know, whether it's a teacher or just a friend or something, come in and say, hey, like, why don't you try this or something. Mm. And like, I was, yeah, I was close to um, moving on from vocal lessons once, but then, you know, I was pushed and now like I've come really, really far and it's just, yeah, it's yeah. really paid off. Mm. I guess like what you were saying before, it's like the importance of, <coughs> um, belonging and kind of how like the, the really amazing thing about Bill and Nook is that there is just such a tight community mm -hmm. and it's kind of like once you <clears throat> see the differences and once you kind of like step outside of this school you can really see how powerful and how impactful that kind of sense is yeah. so I kind of I would carry that with me for, <clears throat> for kind of like the rest of my life because it's just like it's such a warm feeling mm -hmm. you know yeah I mean? We all want to belong, don't we? And yeah. we want to be somewhere where we feel we're valued or we, you know, that, that, that we are connected with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you tell me, if I, you know, if I think about you and Emily, you know, you travelled halfway across the world, <laughs> left your families. Yes. Um, yes. You know, incredibly brave thing. I mean, you think about if you yeah. were 15, you know, it's, I, I'm always amazed by how brave people like you are why why do you think your families suggested that you should study overseas what what was behind that do you think um, I think it's like um, we have like a Chinese background and my parents want me to learn more different cultures and yeah. to become a better person yeah yeah like probably my parents like my family want me to like want me to open the wine, like be be wield of your mm. opinion. So you can not just the uh, Chinese culture, you can also understand some Western countries and mm. Australia's culture, and you can be the more understandable person. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, what will you miss the most? A lot. Yeah, <laughs> I think I miss the relationship between teachers and students like I know a few people in university who keep telling me like the teachers won't hand you for things or if you want to talk to a teacher you have to make a time to go talk to them or whatever mm -hmm. and I think I'll miss that a lot because I'm really close to all of my teachers and it's really easy to talk to them and um, yeah I think I'll miss that yeah yeah. People. Yeah. Having like people that you come <clears throat> into school, you know, if you've woken up on the wrong side of the bed and you're 
bit flustered in the morning, if you're a bit late or something, there's you walk into school, even if you just go into the center space in the morning, there's always people there that are going to yeah. make you smile. Yeah. And, you know, mm-hmm. like we're just sitting in classrooms all day, but it's still something about it is just so, it's just so much fun. And, you know, and next year, like maybe some people just be sitting in bed all day, but yeah. I don't know, it <coughs> won't be that. <coughs> Is this like your plan, Josh? Or what <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, she says people are sitting in bed and then you just go... <clears throat> <laughs> what, what will you miss the most? Yeah, you of course, the teachers and especially the Miss Joy, the food technology yeah. teacher. Yeah. Because like, when I come here year 9, just 16, she's my home group teacher. And next four years, so I'm 19 now, but mm. I keep doing the food technology and mm. like she is a person like so my groups so grow up yeah. you know, like yeah. four years for yeah. little boys. What will you guys miss the most? Um, I think the international lunch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, um, we have lunch, like sharing lunch every day. Yep. Around our lunch time, I think recess yeah. lunch time. Yeah, and we always chatting together, singing together, playing together. Yeah. Yeah. And also, mm, the other family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I always, I always say to people that figuratively the most joyous space is the space in between us, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. You know, it's where we, where we meet um, because, we're, you know, we're a very relationship-driven school, aren't we? And... Um, I think that's what people do always take away, isn't it? The relationships that you have with your your friends and your teachers. Um, and I think that's the belonging and the community thing, isn't it? Mm. If you could look back at the year seven version of yourself, <laughs> what advice do you think you would, have, would give the year seven version of yourself looking back now? I know. I remember I was really because my primary school, like especially my last two years of primary school, I just had this amazing teacher, and we were so, like our whole like cohort, we were all so close. And then moving on into year seven, it was just it was a disaster. Like we we're all so upset. Um, and then yeah, I think just going into it, I wish I could tell myself that you know open yourself up and you know you just have to wait, <clears> and then you know things will become like you create other families yeah. and you'll have other groups and. Mm. It, yeah, it wasn't a disaster, like, leaving all that behind. Yeah. It's just part of life, and it's, it'll happen again when we finish this year. I think it's an important thing to remember. Yeah. What, advice <coughs> would, what advice would you give yourself? I think I would tell myself to make time for me and time for my friends and making sure that I keep in touch with people um, who I've drifted apart with or um, just... just taking a night off from study and watching a movie or, <coughs> yeah. um, and keeping up with netball as well. I think I've dropped netball in the last like month or two and I'm really looking forward to getting back yeah. into it next yeah. season. <coughs> so yeah, I guess just mm. keep doing things that make me happy. Yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, um, I just, a uh, real big like lesson I've learned, definitely, that like in year seven, it was kind of like, because I was went to a different school, it was kind of like, it was a big emphasis on kind of making friends and being super super open and never really following the things that you become really passionate about. So that's like one thing I would tell my younger self is just kind of like follow your dreams because in the long term you would be more happier with yourself rather than yeah. the short term. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and it, I think hindsight's easy, isn't it? It's easy to yeah. sit here today and go, this is what I'd say to my year seven self, but that's part of growing mm. and you don't stop growing even when you finish school um i think that that openness is a really important thing isn't it to sort of we can get very very sort of here here's where we are okay. um and sometimes being at a school like that not like ours you know you do get very comfortable and you feel very much at home but to be able to be open to next year where the world just goes like this doesn't it and it's so exciting and there's, you'll travel and you'll meet new people and you'll go to university and you'll get work and all those sort of things. To, to be flexible enough to say, I'll roll with the punches here and it will be okay um, and the world won't end. <laughs> We're funny, aren't we? You know, we sort of get stuck in our space and 
as soon as something changes, we sometimes think the world's going to end, but yep. it doesn't. Yeah. You know, it just keeps, yeah. just gets different. And you just learn from the things like that. No, I'll learn after I finish school, I'll learn to open myself up and be welcome, mm. welcome different people into my life and perhaps let people go, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty amazing, isn't it? So, um, you know, our community wishes all you the, the best for your exams, of course, and, um, and wants to thank you for your contribution to the school. It's just been amazing. And, yeah, the, the greatest gift that teachers get is to work with people like you. Uh, it's the greatest privilege that we ever have. So on behalf of a grateful community, we say thank you to you and um, thank you for what you've done for us and wish you all the best for, for the future. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs>